You're not the real crate. Mm. I can skip you. <laughs> oh, so much slowdown. Well, to be fair, the NES was not designed to deal with these sort of drop shadows. So. <laughs> that fancy gradient background. Hey, 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 like, hey, NES, I know, I know we're pushing the limits of your hardware in this, in this, but. I forget the fast way of doing this, I'm just gonna spam. I tank damage and spam. Metroid is a girl? Oh my god, it's so slow to attack! Oh god, there we go. Forgot how bad Metroid 1 has aged. Oh god, it's so bad. Alright, how about we go to the cookie? Cookie! Cookie! Alright, so let's see here, I'm playing as... Let's see what type of character, I'm gonna make an adventurer. I'm gonna go with my second choice. Even though I know there's no point, because mystery game's on this one, so... Yeah, well then you can save it for next time if you want. Okay, then I'll All just right. stick with Xenoverse. You're, you're sticking with Xenoverse for your choice? Yeah. Alright, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, Xenoverse for PS4. Sketch, what's your choice? The Fantastic Adventures of Dizzy. That's the NES. Alright. Yep. The Fantastic Adventures of Dizzy for the NES. Mystery game! And the following five games. That's a strategy game. Virtual, so we don't oh. Virtual Fighter 4 Evolution for the PS2. What were we gonna say? I was gonna say it's a shame we don't own the um, the Sega Genesis version of Fantastic Dizzy because it's way better. Uh, I only own this one because someone gave it to me. So. Mm. I think actually the majority of my gold carts were given to me by people. Actually, yeah. No, the only gold card I bought for myself was the one I picked up for Mystery Game. <laughs> Astro Boy for the PS2. <laughs> What's going on? Why is it, why no, I'm just saying Trump subs. Trump subs? One of the abilities in uh, this game is Master of Unlocking. So I, I remember it's <laughs> Lepermon and Shaman 6 and X that gave their eggs. Weird. Alright. Um, game number three is... I have that? Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles for Wii. Oh! Yeah, sure enough, there it is. Oh, it's Dark, <laughs> it's dark Side I don't have. That's the one I don't have. Four is WrestleMania 2000 for the N64. I can't remember. There's a WrestleMania. There's a wrestling game that everyone always mentions that it's good on the N64. And I don't uh, remember which one WF it is. No Mercy. Yes, that's it. Yeah. The, WrestleMania 2000 is the like the precursor to it, so it's not quite there, but it's still pretty good. Okay. Wrestling games on N64 were such a magical thing. And the last one is... <laughs> the what? Little Mermaid for the NES. Mm. <laughs> Not what I expected, but all right. Maybe it's the closest we're going to get to Bobby today. <laughs> to be fair, this one's made by Capcom and actually supposed to be pretty good. Ooh. This is back in the era when Capcom was making all the Disney games. Yeah. Oh shit, I just remembered something I was very big I was forgetting that we will talk about after next break. Alright, let's see what's gonna happen here. 
Dan, that is a frightening emote that you've put in the top there. Where? Looks really creepy with the with the font that site uses. Oh my god. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna vote for that. And currently winning. <laughs> Fuck. Of knew course. It. Fucking knew it. Holy shit! Look at that list. Wow. Dan, how the fuck did you spell Calgary wrong? <laughs> That's why people aren't voting for it because it's not even spelled properly. Maybe. Cal Jerry. <laughs> Little Mermaid in the lead with 42 percent of the vote. Calgary. Is Calgary going to get Mercy killed here? It might. 19% of the vote. Dragon Ball's Universe, 15%. Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles, 11%. WrestleMania, 8%. Astro Boy, wow. Quite the drop off here. 2%. Dizzy, 2%. Virtual Fighter 4, 1%. Hey, at least I'm beating Virtual Fighter 4 Revolution. Hey, man. Virtual Fighter 4 was fun. It was. It was. He at least spelled it right in the chat. We're good. We're good. All right. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. How many votes are clocked on this? Jesus, a thousand votes. We're, we're fucking mercy killing this. All right. Let's have a look at some screenshots of this thing. Oh. Uh, of what? Of what? Of Little Mermaid. I'm curious what we're getting into. All right, guys. When we get back from break, we're playing The Little Mermaid for NES. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. Mercy kill win too. Amazing. <laughs> Congratulations, little mermaid. You vicious killer, you. But yeah. Um... Oh, there we go. Now I can. Now I have the game zoomed in a bit. Well, I certainly sucked that round of uh, one-way heroics. Died in the first building I walked into. Oh no! Oh, shoot. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's funny. I um, I'm looking at this list of uh, roguelike games. Let's see: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I only, I'm only missing about eight of these games. <laughs> okay, we haven't played Heroics, man. You should. Yeah, it's been in my, it's been in my library for God knows how long. Everyone's getting their sea and fish and ocean related puns out of the way, it seems. I've died in the first building. Yes. <laughs> uh, by here, my, my heroics level, I got point six points. Oh man, be careful! I might break the scoreboard. At least, at least we're not joining in on the chat's excessive use of puns right now. I'm resisting. I have to, for the greater good. Mm -hmm. all, we, all we know is that we gotta be like Captain Falcon, and when a problem comes along, steal the baby from the train tracks. <laughs> Ooh, 
That baby was just trying to commute to work, and now it will never go to work. Because Captain Falcon has stolen it. Is that I why see. it's on the train tracks? Yeah, of course. Why, why else would a baby be on a train track? Ah, Luca, you made it home. I miss you, babe. Hope the flight was good. I miss you. Did you text me back? You totally did, and you say you miss me. I miss you too. All right. I you... uh, speaking about flights. I gotta figure out whether I want to fly WestJet or Air Canada to get to um, Con Bravo. Ooh. Um. Air Canada West, is a hundred dollars more Jet, expensive. Yeah, I was gonna say WestJet's always cheaper. Uh, Air Canada is like flying Delta, but not nearly as shitty sometimes. And now I'm being chased by a polar bear, so that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> All right, let's go back to quick donations here. Um, Kurochi Shapachi here again, still loving your stream, so here's a little bit more. I'm going to go into my first convention next weekend, so I'll probably miss any stream you do between Thursday and Monday. Sad face. It's a gaming convention for retro games, so I'm kind of excited. Oh, dude, where is that? That sounds good. I wish I could come and see the conventions you and the other runway guys go to, but alas, living all the way in the UK, that explains it. Kind of throws a monkey wrench in those plans. I cannot think of what event that is. <laughs> Karori they're, they're just they're, they're just going state. to your house, uh, G. The convention's at your house. Oh, there we go. Uh, I look around. Oh, so that's why all you guys are here. <laughs> okay. And then suddenly, like an audience goes like, "Yeah!" Start clapping. <laughs> There's vendors in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Green Draco strikes again. Sorry to donate again, but let me ask you two more questions. One: When's the next Bomber Next Zero stream? Um, don't know. And two, it's obvious now that Superman 64, it's obvious now that Superman 64 and Yoshi's Island are doomed by this point. So would it be possible to just stream the rest of it? I know the ride stage is backtracking and the following would take long, but I'm sure people would rather have that than wait so the universe will let you make videos again. It wouldn't be the same, to be honest. It really wouldn't, because I do them both so differently than I do streaming. Mm -hmm. It's a valid oh, question. I've been asked it before, but I, I feel like that's my answer to it. I wouldn't get the little squeaky bullet points yeah, telling me Yeah, you wouldn't get any pop-ups. You wouldn't get snarky asshole written me. Hello, John. Uh, oh, this one's from... I thought it was from Ari. I thought her email was different. Hello, John. I get, again, usually a tiny amount for me, but I've missed the last few streams because of college finals, so here I am. Also, if you were stuck in the Smash realm, would you want to be stuck with Emil and Tim? Dressed or a meal to him, dressed as Ike, kidnapped by Bowser and saved by Captain Falcon. What? <laughs> that doesn't seem like I'm being given options. That yeah. seems like I have to do all those things. So I have to be stuck <laughs> with a meal and Tim, dressed as Ike, kidnapped by Bowser and saved by Captain Falcon. Which, to be fair, that almost sounds like a pretty good time. Except for that whole kidnapping part. I don't know. Peach has done pretty well every time it's happened to her, so. Yeah, feel free to take two bingo spaces on that one since a lot of people are asking. Be right back. Going to come back after cage fight. See you in a bit. All oh, right, Kristen was watching the uh, the uh, WrestleMania or WrestleMania the uh, pay per view tonight. Forgot that. Where are we at here? Green Draco strikes again and asks. I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting things to ask you in the previous donations, but this one's really important. Oh wow, this is really important. Uh, my mother has breast cancer, and she's going to do a surgeon on Wednesday. Can you, may I ask, that you wish her luck and keep her in your prayers and thoughts? Uh, I don't know your mom's name, obviously, but uh, best of luck to you. It's a hard situation to deal with someone when your family has someone in your family has cancer. So I hope the best to you. It is beatable, so just go in with it with the best hopes for it, and you'll come out on top. My thoughts to you as well. All right, this one comes to us from Danny that says, Danny has got no message. Thank you, Danny, for your donation. <laughs> and we've got... Uh, I got to see Miles. Miles says, hey, John, first of all, I know you played a good bit of Hyrule Warriors when it came out, but I'm not sure how much you played since then. Have you played on either the Twilight or Terminator Adventure maps? Um, a bit of the Twilight one. I almost finished the normal Adventure map and then stopped. 
I'm doing that now while listening to the stream, and they are kicking my ass. Holy crap. Yeah, because they raised the level cap past 100, didn't they? It got really crazy at the end there. Uh, the very first mission, the Twilight Map, is a mission where you play as Midna, and I swear the enemies are like five times as strong as they are in story mode. It's insane. I, I got through that with an A, though, that first mission, and I hadn't... Well, I used a bit of money to level up to like 20 or whatever, a couple levels up, but... Uh, da -da -da -da. And you only have to kill certain enemies, too, which is the real trick. And then in the Terminal map, I tried a mission where you have to get more rupees than the AI, which I was doing so well in 5k to 1.5k when I got killed while trying to use a potion. I'm so mad right now. Anyways, enough rambling. Jake is apparently headed back to the States in the next month or so. Can we expect to see any new collaborations between you two in the not-so-distant future? RE5 was a good while ago, and I know I'm not the only one who really enjoyed it. In any case, sorry for the long message. Here's a bit of money for being an awesome dude. Later. I am actually more happy to see Jake than anything, because like I haven't obviously haven't seen him in two years. It'd be nice to hang out with him again. Um, I'm not gonna pressure him for doing a, a co collab or anything like that, but if he wants to do one, I am more than down for it. Could be the return. We could finally do six. Who knows? Christian strikes again and asks, <laughs> "Back from cage fight. Now I'm gonna make some food. So bye again." <laughs> Christian, you're, it's always amazing when you do that. All right. Guardian of the fourth wall donates and says, Obligatory message beginning. Imagine me saying the first line in a sing-song-like tone. Oh, John. Now imagine me speaking this in a normal voice. Remember how you said you were going to wait for Skitch to appear in the call to do a certain thing? And he links to another fanfiction part. Uh, you know what needs oh, to be boy. done. Skitch, prepare your vocal cords. Happy trails, Proton John. I'll <laughs> still be here. Skitch, I'm going to send this to you, but we were going to do this later, okay? Oh, all right, all right. Sure. Where is... There it is. Uh, this is the Barbie one, if you remember from, like, a couple months ago. Barbie fanfic? Yeah, the, well, it's like a bunch of games, but, like, Barbie was an important part of it. Which, once again, good thing Barbie's banned this stream. All right, Afro Blade Master donates and says, "Sorry, but my internet's being a butt, so I can't stay and watch the stream. I hope it goes well, <laughs> and I have some highlight, and it has some highlight-worthy moments. If some of these games comes up, come up, they might. There's one in particular I can't wait to try out. I'm hoping it's actually good. It might end up sucking, which is it's a bit of a coin flip." Lepermon says, "Hey, John, enjoying the stream as always. And a random question, or as a random question, can there be, can this be the new sound for Egg with this at the end?" What is this? Um, potential volume warning. I don't know what I'm about to open, but it's a YouTube link. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that fucking sound. What is that? It's, you know, the, the uh, wild thornberries. Oh. The Nigel's like, nah, 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 noise. That's what it was. <laughs> Send it over and I'll, I'll whip up something real quick. <laughs> Forgot how that fucking sounds. This is so good. Uh, Leprechaun, I think something's gonna happen. I think you're in luck. <laughs> Clarkmeister asks If you could add one NHL team, why would you not put it in Las Vegas? <laughs> That's a good question. A Las Vegas team would actually be kind of cool. I didn't even think of that. Oh man, yeah, let's get a Vegas team. <laughs> the Las Vegas slots. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Christian's back and says, back, back again, switching over to my iPad because it's 6 a.m., not going to bed, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Christian. <laughs> yes, it's back. Yes, it's back. Justin donates and says, Justin, because there's no message from Justin, but thank you, Justin, for your donation. Oh, and Justin realized it because there's a message there later. <laughs> Christian donates and says, chat, why? I asked for only one favor. Mystery game, that's all. You hurt my feelings, sad face. Christian's okay. Well, it'll be okay, this, buddy. The, mis the mystery game is not going to be part of your world anytime soon. Oh my god, really? Yes. <laughs> All right, Justin donates and says, I think this is how I, I get you to read donations. Anyways, just wanted your two cents on the new Silent Hills cancellation. Use this money for your boat. 
I wish I had a boat. Oh, God. I'm really disappointed that Silent Hills is canceled. I really wanted that to be a thing. Yep. I'm really a bummer. But with all the bullshit going on with Kojima and Konami, it's not surprising. Nope. Not surprising at all. So now they, they, now they, need, they need to get Akira Yamaoka back on that. But wait a minute. No, he's not with Konami either. Wait, where is he? Grasshopper Manufacturer. Really? Yeah. Grasshopper, Jesus. really? He's been yeah. with Grasshopper Manufacturer for a while at least. When did he go over there? It was past No More Heroes 2. Um, he was he was he was the main composer for um what was that one game? Kill, Killer is uh, Dead. No, not Killer is Dead. Actually, he might have been what the Shadows here. of the Damned. Shadows of the Damned was his first game with them. Oh shit. Hey guy. Wow. Man, I'm so Konami's being so weirdly. I'm worried cuz I'm going to do a video soon Konami related. But, uh, and uh, it might cause. I'm sure they're gonna shit on it, knowing them. It's gonna cause problems. Um, he he was the music director for Killer's Dead, and he was also the music director for Lollipop Chainsaw. He also did music for Shadows of the Damned. So shit, yeah, he's been, he's been busy over there. Yeah, I believe I believe he actually is officially in Grasshopper Manufacture at the moment, though. Okay, Dan the Enigma. Donates this. I think every time I make an error in straw poll of some kind, I'm just going to donate a Canadian dollar, 85 cents, according to PayPal. I'm going to go poor at this rate. Everyone get in here. Uh-oh. I think he's trying to get other people to donate whenever he makes a mistake. Oh, God. Oh, hello. Hello, person. <laughs> Reese donates this. Hi, I forgot to pay you for Subway this afternoon, so it's okay. I missed you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> It's okay, you didn't have to. Two more and we're, we're back to the game. Uh, this one comes us from Tofu Boy, 1986. Hey John, quick question. If you were offered an all expenses paid trip to get yourself, Tim, and Emil for a TRG Throne Controllers PAX, or panel at PAX Australia, would you go? Fuck yes. That shit's fucking expensive. So if someone offered to pay for all that <laughs> shit, hell yes, I'd just go just oh. to be in Australia. Oh god, yeah. Also, keep up the great work. Actually, I'm just re I realize a cur I a Oka is a friend of mine on Facebook, so let me just wait. Check what? Here. Wait, you can't just name drop like that. <laughs> <laughs> Scion Steel, thank you for subbing. Here's your egg. Oh, right, we gotta use the new one. Hang on, hang on. Let me download this from from G Wolf here first. You will give me an. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> hey, John, William here again. I'm not sure if my friend heard you say happy birthday to him, so if it was possible, could you do it on Twitter? His handle is BenderStrike64. I know it would make his day. Thanks so much for being awesome. All right. Uh, this might be a bad idea, but let's see. Does everyone want to send a tweet to him saying happy birthday? This might backfire because he's gonna get a lot of spam on this but it is bender strike 64 let me make sure like bender as in like the robot and then strike as in strike and the number six four I'm even going to show desktop cam just to show that I'm actually doing this. Oh, of course, it's cut off by fucking desktop cam. Never mind. Of course. Good good intentions go go bad. I think it just showed up there. Yeah, there we go. He's not... They might regret this in the long run. <laughs> also, I did not see this. Luke is in Protogenon's Mermaids because John's playing Little Mermaid even though Luke isn't actually there. Nice. How about we actually get to some gaming? Yeah, sounds great. Probably a good idea. You, was um, there a I, thing we wanted to do before you did this? No, was no, no. It, was it the rest of the oh, donations? Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. But we've we've been on this for a while. Um, All right. We'll do it after after intermission. It, okay. Because it's we've gone too long without gaming. I hate going too long without gaming. Uh. Yeah. It would help if we had audio. All right. Uh, Let's get some sweet 8-bit under the sea music action going here. 
Alright, let's let's pull up some random facts about this game here. Oh boy. Alright, so um Okay. So uh one of the heads of this particular game is to uh Tokuro Fujiwara, who is the producer for this game, and also the director for the arcade Bionic Mando game, the producer for Mega Man 2, the producer for Mega Man 3, and of course the uh, most important game for the NES, Willow. Oh, great! Yeah, we're in good hands here. But this person has a, this person basically is um, connected to almost every Mega Man game except for the first one. Um, but also is connected to Tailspin, I think. Uh, Little Nemo, the Dream Master, as the executive producer. Um, and, uh... Why, why is Sebastian flying and flapping his lips like Robocop? Uh, this is the, um, arranged version of the uh, script. <laughs> this is arranged mode. Little Mermaid. I must go. My planet needs me. <laughs> they explained that <laughs> Ursula had cast a spell over the fish of the sea so they would have to do what she wanted. So I have to turn... Ariel has to turn back into a mermaid to stop the fish from murdering other fish? You mean like they do to survive anyway? Yeah. Oh no, every oh no it's underwater divine. Watch out. Ariel decided to go to the Earth to go to Ursula's castle to try and release the fish from Ursula's spell. You know, ignoring the fact that she can't talk to Eric, she's just gonna leave. Unless this is supposed to be after all that happened and Ursula died. Yeah, okay, she's I've fucking been... talking to him. What? <laughs> that was like the whole plot was that she couldn't. <laughs> she explained to Eric that she was a mermaid and a princess of the sea and that she must try to save her friends. Eric was like, I, wait, you can't talk. Wait, wait a minute. You, you can't talk <laughs> and you're definitely what? not a mermaid. Why does this look so dumb now? Eric's still in the same pose. But now the the background's turned to water and Ariel's just swimming away and he's just like, oh. <laughs> I have I have made decisions in my life that I'm not proud of. Having just, sex with that thing is at least two of them. I just Eric, imagine he's like slowly realizing everything. <laughs> it's just so like that slow one, like <laughs> he's, he's like hands away. You just hear him going like, fuck. <laughs> Eric tried to convince her not to go back, but she turned back into a mermaid, dove into the sea, and began to swim towards Ursula's castle. Eric you know. was like, this is some deep shit. As you do. Well, don't worry, Tom Hanks. She'll come back to you before the end of the movie. All right, so our buttons appear to be um, swim fast, I guess, and shoot bubbles. I have been... I have been told that I must do a Sebastian and Robocop Photoshop crossover, oh so one moment. Yeah. Uh, also, we're in the Sea of Coral, so obviously we're transitioning to The Walking Dead right now. I have some sort of weapon. You know, this does look like a post-apocalyptic world, doesn't it, John? It really does. Can I, I wonder what happens if I actually go down these... No, I can't. Okay, they thought of that. You attempt to drown underwater like most swimming games. Oh my huh? god, it's also Bubble Bobble. It's also oh, Bubble Bobble. That's right. Babble Bobble and, you know. It's Bibble Bobble. Marmid. It's a mar and Little Marmid. Bibble Bobble, everyone's favorite game. Yes. The Little Marmite who could. The Little Marmite. <laughs> hey man, Marmite's lovely. Okay, can I only really shoot good. Forward? It's It's only good if men at work are playing in the background, so. I had a hint book years ago for the NES games, and, like, this was one of the games they had hints for. Hint, don't die. I mean, that's hint. a pretty good hint, all things considered. Hint, don't think about the plot. It's really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, I think it was something like if you throw, like, the shell at certain points, you'll get secrets and stuff like that. Besides the more obvious, like, pickups here that I'm grabbing, these giant-ass pearls. See, I think that's just license for if the game crashed while you're playing it. They would just say, oh, no, you just found a secret. All right. I got, I I, the pearls are power and range upgrades. I'm playing Binding of Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> 
So yeah, so post-apocalyptic. Uh, um, okay, do you want me to start trying to connect to the Binding of Isaac? Because I could try. Go for it. All right. Um, we gotta figure out the parallels though. Well, since you can't cry into water, we of course have to do the opposite. We have instead of adding water into air, we're adding air into water. So that explains the use of bubbles instead of tears. So really. You're just crying persistently because you realize that you've just been fired from the uh, set of The Little Mermaid due <laughs> to breaking the script order. <laughs> and so to make amends with the producers, you decided to go out and kill Ursula um, before the rest of the movie is finished, which is why they had to change the uh, final fight scene to have that sort of uh, King Kong-esque, uh, Jaws-esque ram the ship into Ursula at sort of plot angle. So... And uh, people in the chat also bring up an important point that this is also probably in conjunction with at least some sort of writer strike, which is why the developers in Japan had to make up their own plot line. Aha! My favorite writer strike, the video game one. That's right. Um, the other the other reason I can speculate is that the uh, actual story for the Lord Mermaid is not um, public domain in Japan. So it's one of those rare cases where they have to come up with a different story to avoid copyright issues. Whereas, you know, I, I'm pretty sure they were just like, what's a good game plot? All right, let's do this. You know, you'd think that. And that's a very clever excuse. But, you know, the, these developers, they are very good at masking what their true intent is. <laughs> that's why they never show their real names in the credits. That's right. Because if they were, if they showed, then they would be basically busting through the, the, uh, the union strikes that were happening. So they had to operate under pseudonyms. It had nothing to do with the fact that they didn't want to put like long Japanese names in the credits of these games for the American kids to be scared of. No, no, no. Well, remember, like the, the original reason they didn't put the, their names in was because companies didn't want them actually like getting their best programmers. They didn't want a, they didn't want a Kojima situation, basically. But like yeah. well before that became a thing. Also, they just... You know, if you're talking about like Activision and some of the other companies, well, not really Activision, because back in the day, Activision actually credited their programmers on their games, but other companies just flat out didn't because then uh, just gotta hide behind certain things. So, yeah. Uh, oh also, man, be we didn't we didn't get any forks or pipes. Man, mm. we missed out. You totally missed out, and those forks and pipes are clearly meant to be indicative of her incessant need to eat and smoke things. Why does Ariel look like a blow-up doll right now? Um, well, mermaid is actually a colloquial term for, uh, certain things in different, different uh, in specific regions of Finland. Um. Oh. Yes. Okay. Finland, yes. isn't like a fish? Maybe, maybe. Isn't Finn? Yeah. Isn't Possibly... Maybe just 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 making the point that uh, it could be that way. Um, even though Hans Christian Andersen was actually Danish, there was a bit of an influx of his works into um, uh, Norway and Finland. So, but maybe too uh, much of a stretch for um, those sort of implications to come through. I hope you know I'm putting way too much effort into this, and I didn't need to really. <laughs> unlike isn't, me, isn't who that was, like the rule of thumb around here. Yeah. Unlike unlike me, where I'm putting no effort into this whatsoever. All right, throwing those fish didn't work, but goddamn, that slow rolling barrel solved it. You know, there's many problems that can be solved by a slow rolling barrel, and it's important that this game teaches those lessons to children. You know. Um. Given the fact that there's no parents, this is also indicative of them alluding to some sort of uh, message to children about how to get rid of parents that have been mistreating them by, you know, putting them underneath the uh, in a bathtub um, to try to turn them into mermaids. So the retaliation is just roll barrel at them, and that will take care of the parents, and all your problems will go away. Especially roll into your the chest that has your parents' money, or in this case, pearls, which will give you powers to be able to fight back against your oppressors. This is too deep for me. <laughs> this got dark. Well, it's it, it, 
an ebb and flow to all this. I'm glad they added a designated leap out of the water and look like an idiot button. <laughs> the game needed that. Well, because oh, I, I actually need to do. Oh my god! Oh my god! There's flap around on the ground. Amazing. Amazing. Which begs the question. Which raises the question: Why doesn't her legs grow back? Because the, the writers didn't think of that. Mm. And <laughs> uh, and also, why is this a clear rip off of Echo the Dolphin? Oh God. How am I supposed to do this? Um, throw the shell. Like that. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure <laughs> if I could throw diagonally, and apparently I can now. People are asking what, what I'm talking about. Bubbles. What? You were asking what the heck am I talking about? I'm just, you know, drawing natural conclusions about what this game is doing. I mean, you saw what the plot did in the beginning. It certainly doesn't care about what is actually canon or not. Uh oh, I'm not gonna survive this. Ooh, maybe I will. I did it! Yeah! See, people are asserting that Echo the Dolphin says aliens, whereas this game doesn't. I'd like for you to point out anywhere in this planet where we have talking crabs, fish, seagulls, and most importantly, mermaids. Disneyland. See, this is, yeah, this is actually a reverse Echo where the mermaids are actually aliens. Oops, I think I fucked up that rock. Can I respawn that rock in the right spot to do whatever it probably unlocks? Yes, I can. I'll probably get shot by this damn thing anyways. I'm sure I dropped this on something. Solving all these intricate puzzles Capcom put in this game. Or what? Yeah. Oh, there we go. What was the point of all that? <laughs> oh, I was just too slow. Shit. All right. <laughs> we got to get some sweet pipes and forks, man. Wow. So that's that's amazing though that you have to follow it down fast enough before it despawns because this game has horrible memory management. <laughs> it's like it's it's like a small child that has no object permanence. Oh. Like where's the rock? Where's <laughs> the rock? There's the rock. It's back where you left it. All this is probably rock. only worth an upgrade I already have. Nope, I don't oh, have play. that. Sweet. Ah no, no! Fucker! What? Oh, fuck you! Oh, uh, oh, uh, did you die? I died. What? I got. I died and got sent back to the start of the stage. Well, well, remember, maybe you can find some more forks and pipes so you can eat and smoke and stuff. I guess. I guess. Yes. Wait, now my tail's not strong enough to do anything. I can't move the damn barrel now. What? Wow, that's just great. It starts you off weaker than ever. It's like the Castlevanias. Gotta upgrade your whip. <laughs> Apparently. Problem is, I the upgrades are in chests, and to grab them out of chests, um, you need to move that barrel. So <laughs> we're not getting that upgrade. Well, all, all, all you need to do is just go back to where you died, and you can pick up your your upgrades, this, this and then not, uh, continue from the, there. Little Mermaid is not Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be at this rate. Wow, now I can't pick up any of the upgrades because of that. You've just unlocked hard mode. Good luck, because you're going to need it. I can get this one, I guess. But I can't go back, so I guess they're just gonna kind of chill out there. All right. Well. Oh, well, this was fun while it lasted. And we'll forget the rock thing, because it's just gonna get me killed. Fucking fish. I'll kill you out of spite now. Get over there. <laughs> the little Dark Souls would be a great uh, thing, though. People would, people would play it, and you know it. People would play it. They played Bloodborne, and 
Um, Bloodborne has its own problems. <laughs> Just like the Little Mermaid. Exactly. You know, it's like many things. Once you beat the game, there really isn't any point in going back and playing it again, just like The Little Mermaid. Oops, right. I can oh. throw straight up. It's the eel things. Oh no! Oh no, it's the eels. They're gonna beat me and, up. Uh... I only, wow. I only have one hit point left, so I have to be careful. Oh uh, no, you, 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 you're, you're, sequence breaking the plot here. All right, they're not supposed to be dead yet. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Disney. <laughs> Come on, don't you care designers. about the Disney can? <laughs> I ran straight into that fucking crab. And it's beginning to say, oh wow, there was a checkpoint. Amazing, but I probably oh. lost all my upgrades still, yep. Can I even get that crab now? I'm curious. We're, we're in pretty much done territory with this game, if anyone's in a peach mode, don't worry. Mm -hmm. I can't... There we go, that was just weird hitbox, okay. Yep. I thought I couldn't actually, uh... like, kill the enemy. or Because I'm having a hard time getting certain crabs to actually get into a bubble. This is a problem he has on a regular basis. It really is. Yeah, I can't actually turn these guys into a projectile half the time. And then sometimes it... it'll just work for <coughs> no reason. It seems whenever they're, like, ducking down, you can't do it. I guess? Yeah, that seems to be the case. Wow, it's like they could just dodge bubbles because apparently that is a thing. Important part of the uh, my little or my little mermaid, <laughs> the, my little mermaid. <laughs> the little mermaid lore. That sounds like a, a amazing German knockoff uh, product line. It's my the my little, little mermaid. Er my little mermaid. Ah, <laughs> uh. family! It is uh, Zeno uh, Zeno Major's birthday today. Happy birthday, Xeno Major. I'm sorry you spent it watching this. <laughs> well, you know, now you now you got to the end of the stage, and look at you. Still no forks. No. Still no pipes. I'm clearly doing something wrong. Hannah, cook me. Thanks for seven for two months. Here's your egg. You will give me an egg. to have that sophisticated dinner without our pipes and forks. The ice is very slippery. Wait, what? We're underwater! The ice, but the ice is slippery! <laughs> the, well, the sea is frozen! The ice is slippery! This one, this never happened in The Little Mermaid. Two, we're in salt water here, okay? It's kind of hard to <laughs> freeze it the way that you are. I didn't are. even think of that! That's a very good point! Three, when the hell did this become Titanic? Well, will your heart <laughs> go on? What? So, well, well, will your heart go on? Yeah, yeah, it will. Good. That's the main thing. As soon as you kiss the girl, that certainly will be the case. <laughs> wow, wow. Wowie. Wow, wow. Sha also, sha la 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 la. La 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 la. Okay, you obviously messed up back there, but that's okay. This game doesn't care that much. <laughs> oh, I, hang okay, on, I gotta no, drop this boulder. Oh, no, I'm not strong enough to move this boulder. Man. How how done with this game are people right now? Because they were pretty done earlier. I noticed. I, I know. So it's just like it's just remarkable how amazingly stupid the plot is for this. It's just like I don't know. Well, it's funny because like um, a friend of mine, um, the guy who did like my avatar on Twitter, mm -hmm. Andrew Dickman, he did a review of an Aladdin game for the PS One, in which it's supposed to take place after the second animated film. So after Return of Jafar. Right, after Return of Jafar. And the main villain is Jafar's crazy sister. <laughs> Wait, okay. what? Jafar's crazy sister. Um, but uh, most notably, um, Aladdin is not Prince, not the fiance to Jasmine, just some guy. <laughs> okay. 
Back in his home. Right, that's see. that's the steel apples again. Well, let's see what the game over screen is for this game. I shouldn't Don't have you expected me? anything different. Don't How you remember me? We outfitted. went on that magic carpet ride and everything. Who are you? I don't know. Yeah, 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 you saved my family, whatever. Well, <laughs> it's like, well, that was a that was a disappointing end to that Tom Hanks movie. All right. Well, don't worry, because now we're here at the fortune cookie to make it better. That's right. All right. You guys sticking with your game choices? Or are you changing them up? I will stick it for one more round and see if someone will bite. So that's sure, the everyone. Oh. oh. Are you sticking with you sticking with Xenoverse? Yes. All right. So we've still got Dragon Ball Xenoverse for PS4. We've still got the Fantastic Adventures of Dizzy for the NES. We've got Mystery Game. And the following no. five games. No, I think wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, no we way. didn't win. This was a nor this was actual cookie pick. Yeah. Believe Are you it or sure? not. Yeah, oh, yeah, yes. it was. I've had that game for no. years. Yeah, no, but what I mean is, I was wasn't mystery game. It was yeah, on the he... last round, but it didn't win. Yeah, yeah, it's, it didn't o it's win. only when it wins it gets removed. Oh, okay. Because that way we like. The main reason I'm doing that was so non-cookie games can win. But if a cookie game wins, okay. then who the fuck cares? Okay. Black with Evil, it's Skitch and Mega G-Wolf. All right, so we've got those three games and the following five games. Snake, Rattle, and Roll for the NES. Ooh. I love that game. Which means it will have 2% votes. <laughs> Rhythm Heaven for DS. Ooh. Ooh. We, we did this like a month ago, I think. It's good, but yeah. I also had to put up with like a couple seconds delay. I think I actually had to plug in headphones to get rid of the delay or something like that. Yeah, you'll have to do that. Robocop for the Game Boy. Oh, Robocop. Boy. Robert Cop for the Game Boy. Oh, boy. Wave Race 64 it says Virtual Console. Fuck it, I have the N64 copy. And finally, Contra: The Alien Wars for the Game Boy. This is gonna be an interesting one. There's a couple. There's a couple choices people want to vote for. I have no idea what's gonna be winning. As soon as some of those options came up, someone was like, "Rip Xenoverse." <laughs> <laughs> people are saying Mercy Kill like before the straw poll link was even dropped. <laughs> well. Do you want me to pull this thing up and uh, get ready to read it, or...? Oh, oh right, yeah. Uh, I guess, like, I threw it and see what, what you feel. Currently winning, <laughs> RoboCop, 26%. Mystery Game, 22%. Dragon Ball Xenoverse, 19%. Wave Race, 12%. Rhythm Heaven, 12%. Snake Rattle and Roll, 6%. It beat that 2%, at least. Dizzy and Contra are fighting for 7th and 8th place with uh, 3% and 2%. Now they're both down to 2%. Excellent. Right the now, fight is real oh, with this wow. one. This is a close one, yeah. Robocop and Mystery Game are actually bouncing back and forth right now. Yeah, it's going to be between these two. They are votes apart right now. Uh, Mystery Game is shooting ahead by about 10 votes right now. But that doesn't stop the man of robots. I was about to say Man of Steel, but I forgot that was someone else that we don't usually talk about here. Feel free to mark off your bingo card again if you missed it last time. Um, oh, that was the reason I grabbed my phone, because it was the timer. Oh, good, it saved the timer. How nice of you. One minute, 30 seconds on the clock. All right, I'm looking at this thing here. Oh, which one do I want to do? I have like three really dumb ones I can see right now. I think this one has the best potential. But I'm interested. I'm interested in what that gold card is that you have. It is a Codemasters game. 
I can okay. confirm, confirm that. Alright, we're not doing the gold one though, we're doing something... I, I remember seeing this one as a kid, I have no idea if it's actually good or not. Probably not, all things considered. But I have to see for myself what this actually is. Because it related to one of my favorite shows as a kid. Someone wants you to do a donation check. We'll do donation check after... I don't know why I pulled that out. We'll do a donation check after break. Plus, I'll hmm. talk it to. I'll talk about that thing I wanted to talk about. Mm -hmm. Twenty-six seconds left on the clock. Mystery game is still ahead by two percent, which works out to roughly. Wow. Okay. Twenty-five votes. I actually wait. No. No, it's still good. I thought the votes froze for a second there. Yeah. No. It's looking like uh, it's not really changing that much. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. That's time. Man, that's really quiet. I yeah. On that phone. I gotta turn on the actual like volume on that. All right. With 976 votes clocked, the winner is the Calgary Expo min uh, mystery game. Which I I don't know how to feel about this. Okay. So, so this is a game that I remember seeing advertised a bunch in like Game Pro and stuff like that as a kid. But I've never played it, never seen a physical copy of it until now. And I have a feeling it's gonna be terrible, which is kind of why I picked it up. Okay. When we come back from break for the NES, we will be playing Tiny Toon Adventures Cartoon Workshop. We're gonna make a yes! cartoon. We're gonna make ourselves a cartoon, folks. I've played this. Oh God, really? Yes. Is it good? No! Excellent! That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> we'll be Please. right back. Oh, God. <laughs> I love the enthusiasm behind that no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? It is a slightly better game um, than uh, Revengeance. No, just kidding. Um, oh, <laughs> it's a Konami game, so I was trying to think of another Konami game to reference. Is it's a better game than Silent Hill Homecoming? Wow. Okay. No, 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 no. What was that one uh, Silent Hill game that was really, really, unfortunately bad? Oh, Book of Memories. Book of Memories. The one, one of the way forward games that people don't want to think about. I can't, I can't stop looking at that middle top gif. Just being like, Shepard? Yes. It's so good. I love it. <laughs> Did you I, tell my, they have my brand yet? My brand. I my have a, brand. I have, a, I have a bunch of, like, glitch ones that I like to put up. But half of them are, like, I have one from, like, a FIFA game where the dude's face melts. And I'm like, oh, I God. would do this, but I think it would horrify people. So I'm like, oh, Shepard, this will work. <laughs> Drillhead Shepard. I'll be right back. I'm listening to this, okay, I'm thinking there's no way that a Japanese developer actually made this thing. Well, let me just, let me just look up the, the Wikipedia article here. Hmm. Uh, oh, here we go. Nova Trade International, which is okay. All right, Elliot, uh, I, I, you, you have two guesses to guess which country, um, uh, Nova Trade Inter International, currently known as Appaloosa Interactive, is from. Shit, why does that renamed company sound familiar? Uh, uh, but, 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 guess. The company ceased operations in 2006. They move on to become Mythos Entertainment. Um, other titles they have made include Airball, which was unreleased for the NES, um, Super <laughs> Sub Battle Simulator, South Park for the PlayStation. RBI Baseball, Magic School Bus Space Exploration Game, the NES version of King's Quest V, Absence Makes the Heart Go Yonder, um, Jaws Unleashed, 
That's why I know that name. <laughs> what country is this company from? China. I would have said the UK. No. I'm not well, he well, headquartered in California, it, it, they own two software development companies in Budapest, Hungary. Oh, you know. Wow. And if you look, okay, if you look at the names in this game, all right, I'm going to read off some of the names of this game. I'm probably going to butcher the names. I'm, I'm wondering, okay, was this developed in America or, I don't know, um, Adoni Gabor, Kovat um, Borbala, Orban Nandor are the designers. Mikulix Attila, so I can't pronounce this damn name. Georgi is the uh, pr one of the programmers. Uh, the last programmer is Zentornia. Zentoriai Laszlo, and then the two composers are Magyari Andres and Gostola Peter. Hugo Sh like, uh, Sheehan brings up a good point. They're the same guys who made Echo the Dolphin. Somehow you didn't mention that series. Um, I, I decided not to. Fair enough. Ah, would have been a well. Well, and again, the question is though, like Echo the Dolphin. We look at the names in it. Um, they pro they may or it depends. I was curious as to which. Part of the company is involved with which version of the game because you have like um the main designer uh the, 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 and is, where is he based out of because he he's best known for the uh, Calibri oh yes yeah, right they did Calibri as well oh Calibri is not the good of the game your move man it's your move man I like it I like it it's good <laughs> well, we, lo we lost oh, yeah. like 100 people. We lost 100 people because of the game. Go figure. All right. Whatever. A couple quick donations to read out, and then I got to talk about that thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, we got uh, DVS Gaming donates and says, Just want to say, love your streams and vids. Keep being awesome. Thank you for the donation. Where are we at? Where are we at? We are there. Christian strikes again and says, Chat, it's Christian with a K. K R I S T I A N. Was that his message? Yes, that was his message. Oh, okay. I know, I love it. <laughs> Nick donates and says, Hey, John, have some money from a furry. Don't worry, it hasn't been in anything nasty. Uh, it's digital, <laughs> so I'd be very concerned if it had been in something nasty. Mm. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. 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 Hey, John, not sure if this is how I add a message to my donation. It is. You got it right. But here we go. I have four copies of a game that I am currently doing sprite art for, and I thought I could give them to you. You could either give them away to fans or to your friends. Whoa, really? The game is 100% orange juice. Basically, Ooh. if you fuse Mario Party with... Dude, we've streamed 100% orange juice before. Like, I, I like playing 100% orange juice. It's really fun. Uh, basically, if you fuse Mario Party with Dokapon Kingdom, which you're not wrong about... It's so <laughs> aggravating at times, though, but it's fun. Uh, it has, uh, has online play with anime characters. Anyways, take care and keep it awesome. Yeah, dude, that game is super fun. We've streamed it a bunch before. I mean, if you want to if you want to hand over some 100% Orange Juice codes, by all means, I gladly give them out. Also, congrats on working on 100% Orange Juice. Oh, they worked on it? Yeah, they said they're... Right, well, I'll make sure I'm reading this out right. I'll go back and double check. I thought they said they physically worked on it. I have four game. I have four copies of the game I'm currently doing sprite art for, and I thought I could give them to you. Oh. So I, I, assume, I assume that to mean they actually are doing sprite work for it, or I assume that, or big fan of it. I, I assume more that they're actually working physically on it. Yeah, the way that's worded, oh, I yeah, guess. There's, there's, there they are in the chat, too. Yeah, uh, dude, can you, or dude or lady, I, I'm i not sure by the name, sorry. Uh, can you confirm that you're actually physically working on the game, or you're just doing it, like, for work for fun? Because I am an idiot, and I, <laughs> I need confirmation on things. Okay, girl. Sorry, Eeny Meeny. My bad. All right. Next one comes to us from Pokeprof, who says, Hey, John, your friendly neighborhood Pokeprof, just donating a little today. 
Also wanted to send another creation from Kitty Cross, who you might remember from making the Wesker Egg Brush and the Assassin's Creed Pooh Bear. Oh, yeah. I am. Sweet. Congrats. Holy shit.